زرتم المقابر كلا سوف تعلمون ثم كلا سوف تعلمون كلا لو تعلمون علم اليقين لترون الجهيم ثم لترونها عين اليقين ثم لتسألون يومئذ عن النعيم The Quran says You are busy Piling up Calculating Developing your careers Your money Your occupation Your wealth Until You visit the grave Think about it When was the last time That you Went to a funeral Was it your mother? Was it your father? Was it your grandfather? Was it your uncle? Was it your cousin? Was it your friend? Was it your wife? Was it your husband? The last time that you visited the grave When you went to a funeral and you saw that person whom you love that was laughing, crying, live, boasting, wealthy, educated, denying, arrogant, whatever they were. What was the demeanor of the people when you walked in that funeral home? When that person was stretched out in their last suit? What was the demeanor? Were the people cracking jokes? Were they dancing? Were they clapping and singing songs? No. Silence. Melancholy. Trauma. Why? Because every person that walked in that room seeing that person stretched out, the first thing they thought about was not the person. The first thing they thought about was that one day, this will be me. So Allah said, All of us, all of you are engaged in running your mouths, doing your business, multiplying, buying houses, cars, business, whatever you're doing. And when you're told about God, religion, life, morality, you're saying, look, I ain't got no time for that. You got no time for that. I don't want to hear that. I don't even believe in God. See how arrogant people can be until they visit the funeral house. And then after you go to the funeral house, if you got the guts, if you got the, if you're able to do so, you go to the grave and you say to yourself, is that it? I mean, 50, 60 years, scraping, struggling, scheming, lying, stealing, fornicating, jumping up and down, begging, working, and this is the end of it? I mean, is this what's going to happen to me? Are they going to be dropping me into a, a hole in the ground? So it really means that after all this time and the people walk away from that grave, it's over. What about that person in the grave? What's happening? Because you know and I know that death is almost like sleeping. Death is like sleeping. Your body is gone. Your body is dead. Your spirit is gone. But your consciousness is there. Yes, brothers and sisters, you and I are going to know when the people put us in that box and put us in the grave, we are going to know. Your spirit is gone. You can't shout. You can't call out. You can't say, don't leave me here. But you're going to be hearing and you're going to be seeing because that's a different kind of consciousness. But you can't move. And in that grave, this is when the real trauma is going to begin.